Hi, I'm Laura and I'm going to do a flip through of a journal that I'm still working through. I only started it just before Christmas. It's not very big, not many pages, but it's the kind of journal you can make at home and I can show you how to do that. So if you want to attend my workshops or come along to, oh, sorry, come along to my workshops or do some online courses or workshops, let me know. Now, funnily enough, this little diary entry was written by my Nana just after I was born, after she first met me and I just received it and I'm just so emotional about it. <sighs> anyway, here we go. So, these are just little snippets of things I've put together. The stars that you can um, make yourself, I think they're Danish. I don't know how to make them myself. I buy them by the hundreds from Reverse Garbage. And these are just all stickers. Oops. Okay, so here we have a combination of um, ephemera that I have made and washi tape, magazines I've cut up, not quite fussy cutting. Um, that's some brown paper that was um, wrapped up in a French book. It's all French. And then here is um, I've used ink tents pencils and um, you just apply some water with one of these brushes with a water well in it. Very handy. And it turns it from pencil to a very pleasing but vivid watercolor look. And I love bees. And this is actually um, Lindy's Magical Shakers, which are amazing. And um, I've painted, I've just used it as a paint so it's it's a pigment that you can shake on to things and use in so many different ways and the, then I've added these uh, vintage images that I've cut out from a really old book other stars out tonight and I've just added some white uh, additional features just to make it a little bit interesting And here's one. <laughs> um, a lot of stickers that I've bought online. And again, it's the, um, when you use the Lindy's Magical Shaker um, and you just shake it onto your page and then spray it with one of these. This is the very pleasing kind of finish you get depending on the colors you use, of course. Um, again, continuing with the Lindy's Shaker, Magical Shaker, and my love of collage, both vintage pieces and more recent as well. This one's a, a collage and a mix of stickers um, it represents me lying on the floor looking through a telescope scope sticker for some spoons. I love this lady. I think she's fascinating. She's so interesting and so beautiful and got so much going on. And again, it's um, an image from a magazine and then I've added stickers as well. And here I do, I'll, I do like to do some art around feminism. Um, so this is a piece here that um, I have made. 
It's got the uh, Lindy's Magical Shakers, cut up a doily, and I've just added rips of different kinds of paper, as well as some stickers. That is, can't remember the name of it, but it's lots of fun to use, but you can't use it with your fingers. I, I like to paint, I like to apply paint with my fingers. This is really sharp and it will slice your fingers up. Bit of washi tape, moon sticker, and a holographic sticker here. And this is from a vintage book. Combination of vintage images and some stickers. I made a playlist for my last um, for last year um, of the songs that not necessarily were the ones I played the most, but probably the favourites from last year. And they weren't hits from last year necessarily. In fact, I don't think any of them were. Looking at them, no. <laughs> um, I love reading, I love just, um, you know, reminding people that I need coffee before I can think. Uh, I have somewhere under the house a box of um, covers from um, old books and uh, this is one of them and I just love them. They're from the 70s and they're so kitsch and um, I put it... Uh, Tim Holtz sticker quote there saying, I survived another meeting that should have been an email. <laughs> we can all relate to that. Again, the layering. Um, excuse me, I've just got to put someone in. So until I figure out how to edit my videos, you're just getting the raw um, feed. So yeah, this is layering. Um, we've got some um, stamp pad, which I've applied to this paper. And then this stenciled um, product is actually wood filler. Now, I find it goes on really thick, which is amazing, um, but um, I like to also mix it up with, a, with different colors, and I will add some water. But you really do need to be very, very um, miserly with the water because wood filler just seems to just turn into liquid very quickly so a combination of some mixed media and stickers and cut out magazines this is more um, of me really um, doing um, some mixed media stuff with a lot of different elements uh, these words are from a vintage book, one of those, um, oh, you know, those annual book for girls that used to get made back in the 50s and 60s and whatever. They're good fun for images and also uh, I love cutting them up and harvesting lots of quotes uh, that I keep in a bag for using. You do have to be very organized when you start doing mixed media journaling and collage and things like that. I'm not too good at that stuff, but I'm working on it. <laughs> um, this says now that you have started exchanging uncivil uncivilities, we're all on the edge of our seats. I just liked that. I actually don't like drama. I shy away from it a lot. But um, I really like that because I had this strong female character here and, um, you know, New York uh, stickers and things like that. I, I, I just, it was appealing. Sometimes it doesn't even have to mean anything. It can just be something that I love. 
And here we have again the wood filler stenciling. Um, I was teaching myself how to use a um, template that cuts things into circles. And um, I thought, why not, you know, just add it to this, this glimmery, shiny background. Oh my gosh, this product is so amazing. It's um, Luna Paste. I think it comes in eight colors. I've only got three because I can never afford to buy a full range of everything, but a little bit of everything's good enough. So it's beautiful, it's fun, it, it, it's, like, it's a paste, but it, it's dry and it doesn't rub off and it's, you can use it in so many versatile different ways. Um, again, uh, this is intense pencil that I've then painted over and um, just a magazine I've cut up, quote I cut up from book, combination of paper, collage and stickers here. Um, flowers, I can show you how to cut up these flowers and make them. They're good fun, they're really easy. Um, see, we've got blank pages here for me still to add. This is a really thin piece of paper, which um, isn't finished yet, but that is where I have watered down the wood filler and added color to stencil onto the page. And then I just painted the leftover onto this page as well. Um, this is my most recent piece. I absolutely adore her. She is fabulous. She says, I am fabulous. And this um, fellow on the bike, uh, Penny Farthing, isn't it? Yeah, is riding past having a good gander at her because she is fabulous. And I've just added a little bit of um, the intense pencils and um, the water um, well brush to just make it a little bit more interesting because it was really quite pale up there. Um, and then we've got, these are all pages for me to work through and use, so much potential. Look at the bleeding from the product, but hey, that's just gonna be part of the fun. Oh, and Ditsy Me, um, didn't realize I'd started using the book half uh, upside down, but hey, I celebrate all my flaws because, you know, no one is perfect. So I've picked this um, image for this page. I've got to find some more resources to add to it and decide how to. And this is just some stenciling that I did today. That's the Luna Paste, the orange one. Well, I don't, don't really remember the name, but... I can always let you know if you want to know. And that's it. Lots more, well, not lots more, but a few more pages to work through. So this is the kind of art um, journaling that I'm really interested in. It's not quite junk journal. It's not really bullet journaling at all. It's a combination of collage and mixed media. And if this is appealing to you, if this is something you'd like to do, I'd love to show you how. Um, I'm going to have some local workshops to begin with, and then I might do some online workshops, and I can do packs of um, things. But I really would like to teach you how to make the journals yourself. Um, I've been making some using magazine covers because um, using the right magazine cover is actually um, thick enough and um, stable enough to use as a cover. And then um, finding a, a range of different kinds of papers that are, you know, different sizes and have different textures and possibly different GSMs and different, um, you know, maybe some vintage papers, which I've got a fair bit of, and music paper and things like that, and show you how you can make this yourself. So um, I think it's always good to know that you can be creative in your own home without really needing to spend a great deal of money on things. Uh, it's not easy to do. 
So, um, I personally get a lot of enjoyment from this. I like to, um, you know, I, I don't know what I'll do with this book when I'm finished with it. Uh, I've got a lot of journals that I've started. Hello, ADHD Laura. Um, but this is the one I've, you know, actually got the furthest through. I think that's because I was, I made it with all the pages and everything. And, um, I might just give it to someone, um, or I might actually write with a pen notes and, um, thoughts, what, whatsoever I might have up in there as well. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube. Please also click on the bell so you are notified when you, uh, when I post uh, or upload a video. I'm still learning all the lingo here. And um, I will be working on the codes and affiliate affiliated links for products on um, Amazon to buy what I use. It's not as easy as I first thought um, and good old executive functioning skills are just not playing along today. But um, go forth and create and be mindful. Thank you for watching.